travel was smooth for President Obama and his family who are in Hawaii this morning for the start of their two-week holiday vacation at a news conference yesterday. Mr. Obama tried to put a bow on what was an often difficult and bumpy year and offered a hint of what's to come in 2014. Jeff Pegues is at the White House with more on that. Jeff, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. This was the year in review for a president whose approval ratings are at all time lows. This was a tough year for the White House. And as this news conference began, it didn't take long for the president to pinpoint his biggest regret. In his final news conference of the year, the president called the disastrous rollout of his signature health care initiative a source of great frustration. Since I'm in charge, obviously we screwed it up. And his standing among Americans suffered. According to the latest Gallup poll, the president's approval rating sits at 40 percent, with a majority 52 percent of people disapproving of the job he's done. But the president insists he's not concerned about the numbers as he grapples with questions about privacy and whether the National Security Agency has gone too far. Mr. Obama says over the holiday break he plans to review the intelligence report delivered this week. It called for tighter restraints and greater transparency. The president could order changes to the way the NSA gathers data. The analysis that I've been doing throughout has always been, you know, periodically looking at what we're doing and asking ourselves, are we doing this in the right way? Are we making sure that we're keeping the American people safe, number one? Are we also being true to our civil liberties and our privacy and our values? When questioned about granting amnesty or negotiating a plea bargain with Edward Snowden, the president left the door open. This has done unnecessary damage to U.S. intelligence capabilities and uh, uh, U.S. diplomacy. Um, but I will leave it up to the courts and the attorney general uh, to weigh in publicly on the specifics of Mr. Snowden's case. The president mentioned other regrets during that news conference, including the bitter partisanship that he says led to the government shutdown, as well as failing to pass tougher background checks in the wake of the Newtown shootings. Anthony and Vanita. Jeff Begase at the White House. Thanks, Jeff.